today, we're delving into a profound truth that has echoed through the ages. The power of silence. It's not just about holding your tongue. It's about wielding silence as a tool for wisdom, strength, and influence. Join me on this transformative journey as we uncover the seven compelling advantages of embracing the art of silence in the world of Stoic philosophy. Silence isn't merely the absence of words, it's a profound expression of wisdom. The Stoics, like Seneca, understood that silence carries a remarkable weight. In our interactions and decisions, it's a mirror reflecting the depths of our character. When we choose silence, we pause to think, we refrain from reacting impulsively, and we allow our inner wisdom to guide us. Silence has this incredible ability to unveil the true nature of individuals. It distinguishes the wise from the imprudent. The wise know when to remain silent, and in their stillness, they radiate intelligence. They grasp the art of waiting for the right moment, recognizing that words spoken impulsively can often lead to regret. It's in this restraint that they reveal their wisdom to the world. As Stoic philosophy teaches us, true intelligence isn't in the abundance of words, but in the thoughtful, deliberate choice of when to speak and when to hold our tongues. So, as we explore the advantages of silence today, keep in mind the Stoic wisdom that emphasizes the profound significance of knowing when to let the world hear your voice and when to let the beauty of silence speak for itself. Therefore, in today's video, I will discuss seven advantages of silence. Number one, silence causes confusion for the opponent. In the realm of Stoic wisdom, silence isn't passivity. It's a strategic move that can disarm opponents and lead to victory. It's the art of waiting for the perfect moment, akin to a chess player contemplating their next move. Sun Tzu, the ancient military strategist and philosopher, understood this concept well. He often employed silence as a powerful tactic. Sun Tzu's strategic thinking, a military strategist and ancient Chinese philosopher, contains profound insights into the importance of silence in achieving victory. Sun Tzu wrote about this principle in his famous work, The Art of War. In this work, he not only discussed how to use armies effectively, but also focused on psychology and strategy. One of Sun Tzu's famous pieces of advice is, do not reveal your intentions to your opponent. Make them speculate and guess. Create uncertainty and unpredictability in their minds. He often emphasized that silence and mystery can create a kind of psychological pressure on the opponent, making them puzzled and speculate about your intentions and actions. Sun Tzu also noted that saving words not only helps you avoid disclosing your decisions, but also allows you to listen and observe your opponent more keenly. By demonstrating patience and composure, you can create an impression of confidence and wisdom in the situation. Sun Tzu used examples of using silence to make opponents face uncertainty about his decisions and actions. This strategy often accompanied the creation of ambiguity and unpredictability to generate doubt in the opponent's mind. This helped him achieve many significant victories in military history and demonstrated the power of silence in warfare and strategy. Therefore, Sun Tzu not only deeply understood Stoic philosophy, but also knew how to apply it to create effective strategies on the battlefield and in life. In the art of war, imagine a battlefield where soldiers anticipate your actions, yet you remain silent, letting the tension build. In that stillness, your adversaries grow uneasy, their minds clouded with uncertainty. They're left wondering about your intentions, distracted by the silence. Sun Tzu's wisdom teaches us that when you make your opponent uncomfortable with your silence, 
their focus shifts from their objective to you and your strategies. This ancient strategy, rooted in Stoic principles, is a testament to the profound impact of silence. It underscores the idea that sometimes, by saying nothing, we can achieve more than we ever could with words. So as we explore the advantages of silence today, remember the strategic power it holds and how, through silence, you can outmaneuver challenges and adversaries with wisdom and finesse. Number two, eliminate distractions. Think strategically. We're constantly bombarded by noise, by endless notifications, and by the chaos of the world. But in silence, we find the space to think, to strategize, and to chart our path forward. History's greatest minds knew the significance of silence and focus. They harnessed this power to make critical decisions and achieve incredible success. The quiet mind is where innovation is born. When you eliminate distractions, your mind can wander freely, making connections and finding solutions you might not have seen amidst the noise. In the midst of chaos, the silent strategist remains calm. They see the bigger picture, the grand chessboard of life, and they make moves with intent. In a world overwhelmed with data, silence allows us to separate the trivial from the vital. It's in these quiet moments that we can distinguish noise from the signal. The silent practitioner knows the power of being present, of being fully engaged in the task at hand. This deep focus creates a wellspring of productivity and creativity. When you finally speak, your words carry weight. In silence, you've examined every angle, considered every option, and decided with clarity. Silence doesn't mean inaction. It means thoughtful, purposeful action. It's the pause before the decisive move, the breath before the leap. In the quiet of nature, we find tranquility. We rediscover the power of simplicity and the wisdom of silence. Embrace the power of silence, eliminate distractions, and think strategically. It's in these moments that you truly become the master of your destiny. Gautama Buddha, another luminary of wisdom, urged us to be discerning with our words. He advised that before we speak, we should consider three crucial questions. Is it of value? Is it necessary? Will it bring about positive change? This practice of filtering speech is at the heart of cultivating inner silence. Silence and concentration share an intimate bond in Stoic philosophy. In the stillness of our minds, distractions fade and our focus sharpens. It's in this quietude that our thoughts gain clarity, allowing us to ponder deeply. While many may think that speaking and thinking are inseparable, Stoic teachings reveal the profound strength found in the ability to remain silent and reflect before we utter a single word. Through this, we unlock the power of true concentration. Number three, silence attracts attention. Silence possesses a magnetic quality, especially in group settings. In a world often filled with noise, the person who chooses silence stands out like a beacon of serenity. Have you ever been in a crowded room where conversations buzzed around you and suddenly there's a moment of silence? It's in that pause that everyone's attention unknowingly shifts towards the quiet presence in the room. Imagine a classroom where the teacher struggles to maintain control as students engage in continuous chatter throughout the lecture. It's a scene where the teacher's voice competes with the constant buzz of conversations, making it challenging to convey important information. When the teacher pauses, even for a brief moment, a hush descends over the room as students instinctively redirect their attention to the teacher. In this scenario, the classroom atmosphere is fraught with distractions, 
hindering the learning process. The teacher's efforts to deliver a meaningful lesson are met with the constant hum of side conversations, creating a chaotic learning environment. However, there's a glimmer of hope. The momentary silence that follows the teacher's pause, indicating that students possess the capacity to refocus when given the opportunity. It's a reminder that, with effective classroom management and engagement strategies, even the most restless students can be drawn back into the world of learning. This shift in focus is a testament to the power of silence. In the midst of noise, silence becomes the center of attention, making it a potent tool for effective communication and influence, echoing the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. In the tranquil embrace of silence, there lies a remarkable power. The power to enchant, the power to radiate charisma. Charisma isn't always about eloquent speech or flamboyant gestures. It often starts with the silent strength within. The silent listener holds a unique charm. They don't just hear words, they absorb the unsaid emotions and nuances. Kindness, too, can be a magnetic force. The simple act of being compassionate and helpful can silently win hearts. The charismatic leader isn't just about giving orders. They inspire through their actions and by empowering those around them. When they do speak, they do so with purpose and conviction, making every word count. Silence isn't about isolation, it's about being present. The silent observer is often the life of the party, the power of a genuine smile, a thoughtful gesture, or a comforting touch is immeasurable. It silently touches the soul. So remember, in the quietude of your being, you can enchant others with charisma. Your presence and authenticity speak volumes. Embrace the silent art of charisma and watch how it transforms your world and the world of those around you. Number four, silence builds strength. Stoic philosophy teaches us that many fear silence because they perceive it as lonely or avoid it to be filled with validation from others. This fear drives them to seek constant attention and approval, ultimately weakening their inner resolve. However, solitude, often found in moments of silence, offers a transformative gift. It allows us to confront our true selves, devoid of the masks we wear for the world. In this introspective stillness, we discover our inner strength and recognize that our worth isn't dependent. Stoicism encourages us to embrace solitude as a mirror, reflecting our true essence, empowering us to stand confidently, regardless of others' opinions or actions. Through silence, we find the strength that comes from within. Imagine you are a high school student Preparing for a crucial exam, you've been studying diligently for months and the pressure is mounting as the exam day approaches. Many of your classmates are constantly talking about their study methods, comparing notes and seeking validation from others about how well prepared they are. They fear the silence because they see it as a sign of isolation and loneliness. You on the other hand, have embraced the Stoic philosophy of embracing silence and solitude as an opportunity for self-reflection and true self-discovery. Instead of constantly seeking external validation and comparing yourself to others, you choose moments of quiet contemplation to assess your own knowledge and readiness. In those moments of silence, you confront your true abilities and recognize that your worth is not dependent on the opinions or actions of your peers. By embracing silence as a reflection of your inner strength and self-confidence, you are able to stay focused and composed in the face of the exam. 
You trust in your own preparation and find the inner power to perform at your best, regardless of the constant chatter and comparisons around you. In this way, Stoic philosophy has empowered you to harness the transformative gift of silence during a crucial moment in your academic journey. Number five, freedom from pride or arrogance. In the grandeur of silence, you'll find the wisdom to shed the heavy armor of pride and arrogance. True freedom lies not in asserting our greatness, but in recognizing our shared humanity. Acts of kindness need no applause, for they are their own rewards. The silent giver finds joy in helping. The humility to admit when you're wrong is a strength, not a weakness. It's the path to genuine self-improvement. The path of silent humility is not without obstacles, but it leads to understanding, empathy, and unity. Humility is another hallmark of individuals who choose their words wisely. They don't seek the spotlight, but are content in their authenticity. Humility isn't weakness if it's the strength of knowing your place in the grand tapestry of life. It's in the acts of kindness, the helping hand, and the empathy for those who need it most. It's the grace to admit when you're wrong, the wisdom to learn from your mistakes. Humility is the bridge that connects you to people, transcending social status, race, and beliefs. So embrace the silence that speaks of humility and be free from pride or arrogance. Number six, silence aids in negotiations. In the world of Stoic philosophy, silence emerges as a potent ally in negotiations. It's a strategic pause that can yield remarkable results. When negotiations reach a critical point, the art of staying silent becomes invaluable. Consider a salary negotiation. Consider a salary negotiation scenario. If you receive an offer that falls short of your expectations, instead of responding immediately, pause and remain silent. Assume you work for a company and you want to negotiate your salary. You have researched and compared the average salary for your position and have specific figures in mind for what you believe you should be paid. You have mentally prepared to discuss this salary with your manager. When you enter the salary negotiation and hear the offer from the company, you may realize that it does not meet your expectations. Instead of immediately Responding with objections or reasons, you might choose to pause and remain silent for a moment. The reason for choosing silence could be to ensure that you do not react too quickly and become tense during the negotiation. By staying silent, you have time to think about the offer and consider the best way to respond. It can also create pressure on the negotiating party especially if they are uncertain about their offer. This may lead them to increase the salary or adjust their initial proposal to better meet your expectations. In summary, pausing and remaining silent during a salary negotiation can help you maintain control and create opportunities for adjustment and improvement in the negotiation process. Number seven kind and considerate regard for others. Kindness, that simple yet profound act of extending a helping hand, not because you have to, but because you want to, is the heartbeat of a compassionate society. Kindness is in the infectious laughter that ripples through a group of friends in the warmth of a comforting hug and in the attentive ear of a friend who listens without judgment. It's the selfless dedication of nurses and caregivers who not only heal bodies, but mend spirits. 
It's in the power of comforting words and the soothing presence during times of vulnerability. Kindness is the foundation of education, where teachers not only impart knowledge, but also ignite the flames of curiosity and inspire dreams. It's in the unsung heroes who take a moment to care for our shared home, our planet, by picking up litter, planting trees, and advocating for a more sustainable world. Kindness shines brightly in the courage of firefighters and first responders who risk their lives to save not only humans, but also our four-legged companions. It's in the worldwide movement for peace where millions raise their voices and their hands in unity, declaring that kindness and compassion will always conquer hatred and violence. Kindness is in the act of sharing, whether it's a meal with someone in need or knowledge with those who thirst for it. It's the open-hearted belief that there's enough for everyone. Today, we urge you to embrace kindness and considerate regard for others, to extend a hand, offer a smile, or share a kind word. Thoughtfulness and kindness are traits that accompany those who speak less. They weigh their words carefully, recognizing the impact of their speech on others. Let's delve into the story of Jane, a young woman living in a bustling city. She has faced numerous challenges in her life, from losing her job to losing her family in a serious car accident everything in her life seemed to be falling apart. However, Jane never gave up hope. She started volunteering at a community center where she met others going through tough times and felt empathy for them. Jane was always ready to listen, share, and assist whenever an opportunity arose. She became a source of encouragement for others helping them feel less alone and knowing that someone was always there for them. One day, Jane met a young man named Michael, who had gone through a difficult period after losing his job. Jane shared her own journey and how she overcame adversity with him. She offered him advice and support, and they became close friends. Thanks to Jane's support, Michael not only found a new job, but also discovered his talent for teaching and sharing knowledge. He became a teacher for underprivileged children, dedicating his time to help the community. Jane and Michael's story is an example of respect and care for others. Jane demonstrated her love and compassion for others, and this spread and had a positive impact on Michael's life and the community around them. Their story makes the world a warmer and more helpful place, thanks to everyone's respect and concern for one another. This is the story of Tom and Emma's journey. Tom and Emma have been close friends since childhood. They always had a compassionate spirit and were ready to help others. One day, Emma began to feel more tired and weak, and after a medical checkup, she was diagnosed with a serious illness. Tom and Emma decided to go through this journey together. Tom became a reliable companion for Emma, always by her side during the toughest times. He dedicated time every day to take care of Emma, ensuring she had proper nutrition and uplifting her spirits. They also joined support group meetings and events together. Emma taught everyone about love and patience in the battle against the illness. The challenging journey made them stronger and they found meaning in sharing their experiences and knowledge with others. One day, Emma passed away after a patient and determined fight against the illness. Before departing, she said to Tom, Thank you for always being there for me and making my life worth living. Tom continued their journey, sharing the lessons of love and care for others that they had learned. 
he became a leader in supporting patients and families going through similar challenges. The story of Tom and Emma is a testament to love and caring for others. They created a strong connection and showed respect and compassion for each other throughout their challenging journey. As depicted in this story, makes the world warmer and more meaningful through cherished relationships and genuine friendship. We've explored seven profound advantages of embracing the power of silence according to Stoic philosophy. From causing strategic confusion to enhancing concentration, building trust and fortifying inner strength, silence emerges as a transformative force. Now it's your turn. Take these timeless principles and apply them in your own life. Practice the art of discerning silence knowing when to speak and when to let the beauty of quietude speak for itself. Embrace the strength that comes from within. If this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more motivational content, my friends. Seven traits of people who speak less are not traits of silence, but traits of depth. It's about communicating with intention, empathy, and authenticity. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the transformative power of speaking less and listening more. Remember, your words hold power, and by speaking less when necessary, you can create more meaningful connections and impact in your life.